What's going on boys? Welcome back to some more Sideswipe. If you've played Sideswipe or Rocket League for any amount of time, then you've probably heard of the term 50-50. In these games, this describes the action of two cars hitting the ball at the same time, which often results in a pinch that goes to either the left or right side of the field, or a 50-50. A lot of people are under the impression that these are random, and you are lucky if one ends up working out for you. This is far from the case though. You don't hear people calling kickoffs all luck in these games, but a kickoff is just another 50-50. Instead of always losing on kickoffs, people like to look up what the best ones are, so why not apply that same logic to random 50-50s in game? So today I'm going to be covering 5 different tips to help you win your 50s in Sideswipe. Let's get right into number 1. First thing we're going to talk about is how you approach the 50-50. How fast you approach the ball is definitely going to help decide the outcome of your 50-50s. If you use all of your boost to get to the ball quickly, you won't have any boost to react to where the ball goes afterwards. A method that I like to use sometimes is setting myself up to where my opponent is forced to push the ball into me. This makes it to where I use minimal boost and can also be used to get boost back if low. If you find yourself having to use all of your boost to get to the 50-50, I have a method that you should use later on in this video, so be sure to stick around for that. Number two is going to be don't flip into them, especially as last man. Flipping into 50-50s is the fastest way to lose them most of the time. You might get lucky sometimes, but if your opponent holds on to their flip, they'll be able to react to whatever touch you end up getting on the ball. You also run the risk of flipping too early and booming the ball into your opponent's car. Holding on to your flip until after the 50-50 is done will allow you to either shoot the ball on your opponent's net or save it from your own. If you absolutely have to use your flip to get to the ball, a good idea is to try to make it to where your belly will hit the ball for the 50 so you get a little bit of boost and more importantly your flip back. Overall bullies, just try to hold on to that flip as long as possible. Third tip is going to be use the 180 air roll button if you don't already use it to decide what type of 50-50 you're going for. The 180 button has a lot of uses and setting yourself up correctly for your 50s is another one. You will get different effects on the ball in your 50s depending on which part of your car touches the ball, either your roof or your belly. Belly touches will keep the ball closer to you and are a little bit more controlled. Roof touches have a tendency to kind of shoot the ball out with power and aren't as consistent. If you don't care what happens to the ball after the 50, then using your roof is definitely the way to go. You might use this method if the ball is in your half and you just want to try to get it boomed to your opponent's side. But for the most part, I like using the belly of my car for most of my 50s. Tip number four, going high can lead to the ball bouncing down. This can be used to your advantage if the ball bounces towards your opponent's net, but you also have to be ready for it to bounce to your side as well. If you are near the ceiling when going for this type of 50-50, try jumping up and flipping slightly away from the ball. This makes it so whenever you hit the ceiling, there's no chance of your opponent getting the ball above and around you. I typically like doing higher 50-50s when I'm playing twos or threes, since I have someone to back me up if the bounce is towards our net. It can work out for you in 1v1s, but I hate watching the ball slowly bounce in my net as I fall back down to the ground with no boost. On to our final tip, boys, and one of my favorite ones. Pink 50-50s are my absolute favorite method of doing these and they are a great way to get your boost back. They can be done by positioning your car straight up and letting your belly hit the ball. Once you're on the ball, you want to lightly tap the boost button to keep pushing it into your opponent. Anytime you start lifting away from the ball, just let off of your boost so you can reposition yourself. I find that a lot of times if you hold this position, eventually your opponent will get tired of wasting time, especially if you are up in goals, and flip into the ball. If you are centered on the ball, you should end up with possession and full boost. This method also results in a more controlled 50-50. With roof hits, the ball likes to either bounce away or roll off of the car. With belly touches, the ball doesn't seem to roll as much, which will give you way more control over it. There are times where using your roof to challenge the ball is the move, but for the most part, this is my preferred method of doing 50-50s thanks to it allowing for more control, giving boost back, and giving flip resets back. Alrighty boys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this 50-50 video. If you guys learned something new, please be sure to drop a like and maybe even a sub. If you would like to see more videos like this, please also let me know down below. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.